Hello, I am Paul Lamar, and uh, I've uh, been editing the Aircraft Rotary Engine newsletter for the past 20 years. And recently, I've been working on a world record time to climb to 10,000 foot uh, aircraft. Uh, this aircraft is powered by a uh, Wankel rotary engine and uh, the world record is two minutes and uh, so far we're getting very very close to setting the record. We've had uh, one or two test flights under two minutes. Now this is a, uh, a rotor housing and uh, it's a peripheral port rotor housing. Here's the intake and here's the exhaust. Now those are straight into the rotor, uh, into the intake chambers, and uh, th they allow, there's no uh, intake valve and there's no exhaust valve, so they allow 120 percent volumetric efficiency. That's uh, 20 percent more air than the displacement of the engine. Consequently, it's 20% more power. The more air you have, the more power. Now, in order to do that, you need a tuned intake. So uh, here we have a, a, a just a very short section that's not long enough, but it uh, goes on here, and uh, the fuel injector is here, and the intake error is over here. This is a rotor. Now the rotor is cast iron and that's very important in a way because uh, one of the uh, weak points of the piston engine is the aluminum piston. If uh, you uh, boost a piston engine too high with a turbocharger you can melt the piston. Consequently uh, this cast iron uh, rotor is nearly impossible to uh, melt. Uh, the rotor orbits inside the, the rotor housing and so the, in one revolution it goes through all four strokes intake, compression, expansion and exhaust in one revolution of the eccentric shaft. This is the uh, eccentric shaft and it is key to the robustness of the Wankel rotary engine. Uh, it's more or less straight through so uh, unlike, a, a, um, unlike a crankshaft it doesn't have those back and forth jiggles which cause stress concentrations. Now. Uh, that is one of the uh, other weaknesses of the uh, uh, piston engine. That and the fact that it has rods and exhaust valves. Uh, the, the rods are known to break and punch a hole in the wall of the crankcase. Even, that even has a name for it. It's called uh, windowing, the cr uh, windowing the block. <laughs> and. Uh, the piston, of course, uh, are known to uh, melt and fail. And the, probably the worst thing about a piston engine for aircraft use is the exhaust valve. The exhaust valve, according to Curtis Wright, who did a lot of study on it way back in the 50s, the exhaust valve dissipates 19% uh, of the energy in the exhaust. And uh, a typical aircraft engine must be inspected every year uh, to uh, measure the leakage around the exhaust valve. If the exhaust valve is leaking it's probably getting ready to fail and the FAA requires you to fix that. 
So um, that's an additional cost uh, of the piston aircraft engine. That it must be inspected every year. Uh, make sure the exhaust valve and the piston rings are not leaking. Consequently, uh, this is so robust and it's not that much weight. You see, uh, I can lift it quite easily. And uh, this is the heart of the, of the Wankel rotary engine. This is a true rotor, one here and one here. Now the uh, RPM is limited by the uh, cast cast iron rotor rotating around this journal right here and it's limited to 11,000 RPM. Uh, if we came up with a new material that we could increase double that RPM, for example beryllium aluminum rotors, very exotic, exotic material and not uh, widely available but uh, it could double the RPM and double the horsepower. Next thing I'll show you is uh, a test flight of uh, a Harman rocket powered uh, aircraft with a 650 horsepower turbocharged Wankel engine climbing from a dead stop on the runway to 10,000 feet in less than two minutes. Now uh, this is just a test flight. Uh, there was no official observers for that and that is going to happen shortly. So uh, it is quite capable of setting the record.